Christmas again. Like they're just, you know, we, we've said it so many times, the greatest team of all time. But you know what? A, what can we say? Another absolutely brilliant performance today. And what a manager, Brian Cody, in his 14th year in charge, once again spreading the Cody magic, sprinkling it, and they have responded. They were quite in Kilkenny when I was down there yesterday for the All Ireland Camogie semi-finals. Oh boy, what a response! Yeah. Yeah, see Michael Cahill bought the dummy and a great goal. Puck out from Brendan Cummins. Pulled down by JJ Delaney. John O'Brien is there, so too is Aidan Fogarty. Really played well. Brendan Mark and Tommy Walsh. Up into the air. Short little grip. Comes for his TJ Reid. Bats it out for his Aidan Fogarty, who have tormented Tipperary. Fogarty's shot, just dropping a little bit short. Brendan Cummins looks around at various options and there aren't many for the Munster champions. Patrick Bonnermar unable to control. Goes forward for his Killian Buckley. Buckley drives it long and plays it simple. Down towards Owen Larkin and Richie Parr. Coming out towards Aidan Fogarty. Staying goal side is Petty Stapleton. Fogarty looks back out first TJ Reid. Trying that little jink again and then flings it high. Oh my word. It drops over the ball. With a little bit of help from Brendan Cummins, but TJ Reid, what a magnificent point! That's an unbelievable score, Marty. <laughs> you know what again? And I'm so you know, some players you know things don't go for them when they start. Maybe over the years, and TJ Reid has come on and made massive contributions over the years. He's a brilliant hurler, brilliant in the air. But today, from the very very start, he's been so crucial to this Kilkenny uh, game plan, and that's an absolutely brilliant point by TJ. Paul Curran has gone off for Tipperary and done a mark from Burgess is in. And Kid Kenny, such great fielders at Brian Hope. First touch is magnificent. Michael Fenley, short grip, steps away. The umpires look. And the ball is wide. 4-19 Kid Kenny, 1-13 Tipperary. Who would think it? And considering that the teams were level eight times. But the Kilkenny determination, spirit, is unquenchable. And here comes Tommy, wee Tommy, full of fire, full of energy, laying it off as Colin Finley, stepping away from the challenge as Kilkenny now exhibit all their magnificent skills. And this ball, unfortunately for Finley, is left in wide. They've shot, by the way, just seven wides in this game, and they've registered 4-19. 3-10, three goals and ten points in the second half for the Kilkenny Cats, just three points for Tipperary. What, what an awesome second half. Yeah, what a catch there by JJ Delaney, an absolutely brilliant catch. And Brian Hogan, I think, has caught about six puck outs clean as well. Boric Barr being fouled by Richie Parr, free for Tipperary. To be honest with you, it's well beyond the Munster champions at this stage. Loose breaking ball picked up by Tommy Walsh. And all the side shows and all the game plans that were going on are now null and void. Irrelevant. Ooh. Oh dear. Pouring bar. That is a red card offence. And I have no doubt that Paul McAllister, who saw it just as clearly as we did, will take aside Pouring bar and will show him a red card here. It's pure frustration, but a very, very wild swing. And in fairness to TJ Reid, made nothing of it. But it's very hard to see anything else. Let's just see what the decision of the referee is because he's saying let's keep it calm he's first taking the name of Torig Mar to be honest with you it is the second wild pull out of Torig Mar and it's just a yellow card well I have to be honest I really am surprised at that well it, you know just looking at it initially comes right around here he missed him that's about all you can say he pulled the wild stroke if he'd made contact uh, you know, it was a very, very dangerous pull, and um, he didn't, he didn't connect. But I, you know, the rule is it should be a red card. Henry Shefflin there with a point. But just watch this again. And it was I, a pull. No, yeah, he like got, got him on the shoulder. It was a wild stroke, and TJ Reid never made anything of it. But you know, it, it's to strike or attempt to strike or attempt to strike with the hurl is a is a red card, and uh, uh, Tariq Mar very, very lucky. No doubt, Tariq Mar should be gone off. To be honest with you. And uh, John O'Brien is going off. And it has been a very tough week for him indeed. And again, we express our sympathies to the O'Brien family. And a huge round of applause 
for John O'Brien. As Michael Deignan said, really, it's been a terrible week and he's, uh, he's done well to be here. So Tipperary bring in substitute John O'Neill into the team instead of John O'Brien. Lara Corbett going forward here, J.J. Delaney. Nicely knocked, knocked back by Patrick Bonomar. Lovely hand pass by Lara Corbett and the ball is into the side netting and wide. But lovely play by Tipperary and particularly by Lara Corbett with a really slick back pass. But uh, unfortunately for John O'Neill, side netting. So Kilkenny are going to introduce not one, not two, but three substitutes. Matthew Ruth is going to be coming on. Richie Doyle is on. He's number 23 is Matthew Ruth. Going off is Paul Murphy. Richie Doyle is on as well, and he normally plays. Richie Doyle is on, yeah, for Paul Murphy, and Colin Fenley gone off as well there, Marty. Uh, Matthew Ruth gone on corner forward for him. Great opportunity to give lads a run now with eight or nine minutes to go and you're sure you're testing the final and double scores. Hard to believe, Marty, as you said it. I just can't believe it. I thought it would go down to the wire today and it's just a huge performance by Kilkenny again. And just to go back to that Leinster final, Marty, you know, sometimes you're on the road so long, Kilkenny needed that motivation. But, you know, Galway played brilliantly on the day. Kilkenny were well beaten, kind of no complaints, but it was a great way to go back to the following week and say, lads, you know, are we going to finish up like this? And you know, the players have responded magnificently. And I believe the meeting they had on the Monday night, Brian Cody took a lot of personal responsibility, uh, spoke to the players about you know, maybe playing with bits of injuries and all that, didn't want it. And unless you were fit to play with your clubs, unless you were fit to come in and train, and he didn't want you in there. And uh, a lot of straight talking was done, and you can see the result of it here today. Great men back to the very best. Very impressive performance by Kenny and Tommy Walsh. Plays it back first, Brian Hogan gives it to Michael Finnelly. Brendan Maher was the number eight coming into challenge. Picked up by John O'Neill, and that's a point for Tipperary and for John O'Neill. Five minutes left in this All Ireland semi final. And all you can say is look back in awe almost the way Kilkenny displayed all their hurling skills in this second half. Unstoppable. Brendan Maher is going off. James Woodlock is on in the middle of the field. Yeah, Tip Hodder, they got four points in the second half, Marty. Uh, they're starting forward, and Power Burke had a goal from play. Bonner Maher didn't score, Larry Corbett didn't score, Brian Maher didn't score, John O'Brien got one point, and Noel McGregor got two points. And, you know, that's not going to be enough uh, against a team like Kilkenny. TJ Reid is 2 2, on Larkin a goal, Fogarty has 1 3, and, you know, the work rate at Fenley and Rice a point each, Killian Buckley a point from play, you know, and the spread of scores and the it's just there's no comparison right across the, the two teams supporters as you just saw just leaving some of them disappointed heartbroken with uh, the display of Tipperary particularly in the second half and by the way John O'Neill's point that was their first score in four, since the 46th minute as Henry Shefflin adds on another well you can start looking for your tickets for the All-Ireland Hurling Final on the 9th of September between Kilkenny and Galway and a repeat of the Leinster Hurling Final Michael Kenny introduce another substitute. Looks like Connor Fogarty is coming on. And uh, going off is Aidan Fogarty. Yeah, Connor Fogarty's gone on midfield and Killing Buckley gone into left half forward. David Herity coming out to uh, take this free outside his own 45 metre line. Drops this in around the square. Henry Sheffin gets a touch, Brendan Cummins. Relieves the pressure momentarily. Had a touch. Richie Parr had the vision. Brian Hogan has the effort. And the score. Brilliant hurling by Kilkenny. Now there's a sequence of play that could be shown to young lads. 
Yeah, great ball out all there. All over the country. But Brian Hogan has had some game. You know, like he was missing. <clears throat> he was missing the last day. He was injured. Uh, just back training in the last uh, ten days or so. And what a performance he's given today. It's completely taken Bonner out of the game. Who's been the key man for Tipperary this year? Ball goes down towards Owen Larkin. Lays it off for T.J. Reid. Was afraid the referee saw the infringement. And of course, coming up tonight, the Sunday game at 9.30 on RT2. You can see highlights of this All-Ireland semi-final and plenty of talking points. And a look ahead, of course, to the first of the All-Ireland football semi-finals as well. Yellow card for Conor O'Mahony as frustration takes hold here. Challenge on TJ Reid. Well, you can see that, you know, it was a nice slap into the face guard again and a dangerous tackle. A lot of frustration creeping in out to Tipperary players. Once again, the umpire is going for the white flag. They're in no rush whatsoever uh, to get to their flag. So uh, he gets there eventually, and it's another point for Henry Sheffield. In the middle of the field is Conor Mann. Noel McGrath. Corrig Ma. Pumps it into the space. Tipperary need goals, and they need them very, very fast. That's a good score. Yeah, John O'Neill, you'd have to say, look lively. Two point, nice points since he came on, but you know, points at this stage obviously no good. But um, he's took a couple of nice scores. And just going back to Henry, there, you know, scored nine points today, all from play balls, nothing from play, but still it's his leadership or something. He had the goal in the first half, great run, and he hadn't been in the game. But you know, that's at this stage of his career, you can't be expecting him. And the other players have really stood up to the mark today and taken the pressure off him. One minute of additional time to be added on in this semi-final. JJ Delaney dancing away from John O'Neill's challenge. Kenny, superior in every sector at this stage. Long ball again down towards on Larkin. More trouble for Tipperary. Lovely pick up by Larkin, but Tipperary win the position back. Pump down towards Shane McGrath. Battling here with Connor Fogarty. Stepping away is James Woodlock. Faris Pa Bork. Uh, Bork's effort is right and wide. Right. And Tipperary nine wides in this All Ireland semi final. But the reality is the Munster champions have been well beaten in this latter 35 minutes of action. They have indeed, Marty. And uh, you know, I think it's a big message we sent out Galway. Uh, you know, and it's good for Galway, I think, too, that Kilkenny have won like this today because, you know, in case if there was ever going to be any complacency going into a final, uh, Galway are going to have to know that unless they're at their very, very best. And, you know, obviously Kilkenny will have the motivation of the Leinster final, but you know, Galway can't let that worry them. They have to go back and do their work and get ready for the final. And there's another great score. There's a score from Henry now. I said he hadn't scored from play, and there's a great point from way out the field. Ten points for Henry Shefflin. You must have heard you, Michael, because that's his first point from play. And the full-time whistle blows in Croke Park. No question that Brian Cody is heading back to Croke Park to this venue that he's graced for so many years as a player and as a manager. It's a repeat of the Leinster hurling final, which Galway won. What about that for a mouth-watering prospect? Porig Mar can only sigh in disappointment as Richie Power, Noel Hickey and Kilkenny show that they have the hunger, they have the appetite. And considering that the sides were level eight times, it's an amazing turnaround, an awesome performance by Kilkenny. And really, at times, they looked unstoppable. Henry Shefflin, despite getting a yellow card from the referee, can afford a smile. For Brendan Cummins, he's not every day of the week. He's beaten four times. Only one shot he might be disappointed with. The others was just simply unstoppable. Henry Shefflin scores ten times, once some play, encouraged by Michael Dyke. Absolutely. Well, Marty, I don't think he needs to be encouraged by me to, to score. He's an absolute, you know, the all-time greatest player probably that we've certainly seen. And, you know, what a performance by Kilkenny. You know, it's unusual you go after a match, you'd say, I can't remember one Tipperary player that maybe got the better of their man today. I think Kilkenny won every single uh, battle out there. They played absolutely fantastic stuff and uh, great performance by them. And, you know, it's back to the, really back to the drawing board for Tipperary. Three goals in the second half by Fogarty, Larkin and Reid gives this a very impressive scoreline. Before a crowd of 50,220, Kilkenny are back in the All-Ireland final for a record-breaking seventh All-Ireland time in a row. Full-time scoring Croke Park. Kilkenny 424, 
Tipperary 150.